in this video I'm going to be showing some of the um, variables that could, that you can use on the Festo Position Basic uh, 3 library and basically we're going to talk about the mode, modes of operation the different modes that you have on the on the library configuration mode combing mode jogging mode etc and how to switch between these modes how to uh, enter configuration mode and then switch to homing mode etc etc um, after that, um, I'm going to talk about, I'll talk about some of the variables that you have access to and that you can change um, in case that uh, you're doing control by Ethernet IP. You might want to reference those variables to variables coming from, from an Ethernet IP scanner or master. So, for example, this one's the control word. Uh, enable, reset, move, move positive, move negative, etc. Start. Okay. So first of all, let's start by uh, talking about the modes of operation. Gonna back, go back here. So we have these modes of operation, and the first one that you have to enter is the configuration mode. Here it says at each power cycle, the system needs to be in the configuration mode to initialize the configuration parameters. After the successful initiation of the parameters, it can switch to different MOPs to operate with the system. So let's let's do that. Uh, right now, um, I'm using the uh, the Win B3 uh, PLC, so I'm use, using a virtual PLC, and I'll, I'll be emulating this application <clears throat> so I'll, I'll log in into my PL, virtual PLC right now it's in stop so I have a fresh application then I hit run and the visualization is gonna pop up in a few seconds here here it is all right so I'm not gonna move anything here I'm gonna leave it like that but I'm gonna go back here to the GBL motion in out and I'm going to take a look at the inputs here. So here I have the uh, EMOP or the mode of operation here. And if you see right now, it's in no mode because I just reset the PLC, no mode. So I can switch to the different operation modes here. Either by, so, uh, of course, you're not going to have uh, access to these uh, variables like this, but you can set a number here. And this is uh, explained over, over uh, let me find that real quick here. Right here. So right now it's in zero. But uh, as we read before, I have to go into configuration mode so all of the parameters are loaded. So I'm going to switch that to 10. Here in codices, I can either select uh, e config mode, enforce it, or I can just uh, type, uh, I, I can just send a 10 by any like a variable on Ethernet IP or whatever what I'm using, whatever protocol I'm using. So I'm gonna do a 10, and then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be using the shortcut. So I'm gonna use Control F7 to write that value. And uh, before writing that value, let's see the visualization here. It's in no mode. So uh, no mode and the config is not down, so I don't have anything over here. So I write the value and it's in config mode right now. And after doing that, I have to set the operation mode using this bit over here. So right now, as you see, the operation mode was not switched. I have to set this bit to true, write it, and then write it to true and then false and the operation mode changes to configuration mode here. All right, so then I'm gonna switch now to the homing mode by selecting a by sending a 20 over here on the emob variable. So I set a 20 there, write the value, and then remember to set this bit to true because otherwise it's gonna, it's gonna stay in configuration mode. So I set that bit to true false and then I'm on homing mode now. So now I want to enable the system. So I enable the system here, write the bit. It should be enabled. So it says the drives are enabled and this is enabled too. And now I want to uh, perform a homing sequence. So I'll just set a start here. And it's in, now it says it is home. 
uh, how did I knew, how did I knew that it was going to perform uh, the start was going to perform a homing sequence? If I go down here to the control word, I see here that depending on which mode of operation the system is, it's gonna, for example, start homing, uh, move point to point, start TNC, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So okay. Now I'm gonna test doing uh, some jogging here, so I can I can exit the homing mode and jump to the jogging mode, which is uh, let's see here, jogging mode is 30. So I write here 30, write that value, and then set the speed to true. Now, uh, now I'm on jogging mode, and then I want to jog the x-axis, which is the vertical one. So right now, the selected axis is the e-x. If I go and move positive, leave it to true, it starts moving. False stays there, and then move negative, starts moving. All right keeps moving all right so now let's switch to um, EY and let's see select axis it should have some numbers as well here so let's set a 2 right there 2 right all right now let's move positive here oh. and it's moving on Y and I can do that as well for the negative right so we move there okay so let's set everything let's go back to home here 20 right and then set the operation mode true now i'm on the homing mode and let's execute a homing with the start it goes back to zeros here on the on the coordinates and uh, the point over here, the reference point is in zero as well. All right, now let's do, um, what else do we have here? Jogging, inching mode, that's technically the same thing, it's close to jogging, but let's try that. Uh, uh, inching, go here, and then inching is the 40. 40, I write that, and then I set the operation mode. I'm on inching now, and then if right now the inch step is five millimeters, so each time I tap uh, or I set move positive or negative, it's gonna do do it on five inch uh, five millimeter increments. So let's try that. Right now, it's everything is on zero here, so move positive, and it advanced five on Y because uh, that's the axis that I have selected as of now. So let's set that to one or EX, and then I'm gonna do um, another five increment over here on X uh, by doing move positive now. So it moved now, and if I do multiple, I should have right 20, okay? What else? What if I want to change that five uh, increment? I go here, I'll uh, LR inch step, and I can switch that to uh, N, for example, and then switch back to Y. Now I do, right now it's five, so I'm gonna do a 10 increment here, and, and as you can see, it already changed. Uh, so I do 10, now it's 15. And I'm gonna do a couple more. There, and there. So right now I'm 35. All right. So that's the um, inching mode. Now let's go back to home 20 and set the operation mode. Homing mode. All right. So start the homing, and everything should go back to zero. Perfect. Now, point to point mode. Um, that's the 50. Uh, where is it? 50. So let's do point to point. 
and oh sorry uh, I'm on point to point mode now so here you can um, you can change these values so I want to go to X and Y points right now it's 10 and 100 let's change that let's change that over here 10 and 100 let's change that to I don't know uh, 45 and um, 78 I write those values and then I should hit a start and I see the axis moving there all right and uh, let's bring them back to zero zero and then you need to set back this back to false and then to true and it moves back to zero now if you wanted to move the speed you you this is the dynamic point to point so you change here the acceleration, deceleration, and the velocity here. If you wanted to change the speed of the uh, the execution of that uh, movement. All right. Uh, and lastly, let's test the internal CNC mode. Um, let's set the the MOP to sixty here. Sixty. All right, set the speed to set the operating mode, operation mode, um, and uh, here we're internal CNC. Now, which one do I want to execute? So right now it's one, which is this one. Let's change that to three, for example, and it changes to three. Now remember that those uh, CNC programs are the ones that you have uh, here. So on the first one, I have a circle, a path, and a rectangle. So let's 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 execute the circle. Okay, which is let me see. Um, Where are the CNC? Let me go offline. I remember how to look at that. Oh, oops, offline. Mm -hmm. It's over. Nope. Okay, wait, 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 wait. It should be here. Um, uh, here. My motion in out it's right here so one is the path two is the rectangle and three is the circle so i'm going to execute the circle number three okay and looking back i log in into the uh, program again and then so number three we said um here and then here I select the program number three, which is the one that I have right now. I should be right now on the internal CNC mode, and I should just hit start uh, using my bit over here. So I hit start, and there's my circle. Okay. So I put that back to zero. And what if I want to execute now the program number one, which I believe was the path? I switch that to one and then I hit a start. Now this uh, this program I, I know that it has some M commands on this on the G code. So I'm gonna have to acknowledge those M commands or like either by using this one at a time or acknowledge all. Because the M the M command is gonna execute a pause and we'll see that in a minute here. So I'm gonna execute that. So it's executing the, the first program, the path program and it says how now here it says m active and it is expecting me to acknowledge that m function i can i can either do that by setting this bit to true or by uh, selecting this button on the visualization here uh just so you know just so you can see here i'm gonna acknowledge here and then i'll do it on the bit so i acknowledged and now there's another m active i'm gonna acknowledge now here And it is done now. The motion is complete. IPO done. Okay. So what if we execute that again? Starts. 
then it's gonna be an M command there. Now I'm gonna acknowledge all the M's. I'm gonna leave this to true. And it's gonna execute uh, the whole sequence. Uh, doesn't matter that it has some M commands. Uh, I'm gonna execute that again. And without pauses this time, because it's acknowledging all the M commands. And it's motion complete, right? Oops. Uh, what else are we missing here? Now you have access to the halt, the uh, acknowledge, next step, enable, reset, move, move positive, etc. Here, and you also have access to the, as we mentioned here, to the position on the point to point, the uh, velocity acceleration, etc. You can also switch the programs using the UI user CNC number. Uh, also, this UI override is the the speed that you can. Let me show you right, that here. So right now it's it's executing a hundred percent. This is in a percentage. Now let me change let me change that to thirty, for example, and execute another program. So now it's running at a, at a thirty percent there. Okay. <clears throat> it's moving, and we, I'm, act, I'm just expecting this motion complete uh, signal, right? And now, where do I get that motion complete? I should get it here on the GST out STSW. These are my my the outputs that the system is going to be sending or the function block sends. Um, so motion complete is right here. So if I execute another start here, oops, motion complete goes to false. And then what if I, I'm going to do this to 100% so it executes faster? I'm expecting this motion complete. So it's true now. Okay. So this is where you get the, the feedback from the function block. All right. And that's it.